Hello, hello, and welcome back to my channel. But if you're new here, welcome. My name is Courtney, also known as Coco. I run a fashion, travel, and lifestyle blog called Coco with Love, and it's over at CocoWithLove.com. Today, I'll be doing a video. Um, it originally was going to start off as like my favorite skincare of like 2019 that I'm bringing over in 2020, but it's actually a little bit of skincare, body care, and some of my favorite cosmetics. So, just a little bit about my skin. I have very, very dry skin. I'm always ashy. I have somewhat sensitive skin and I have eczema. Sometimes when I have a flare up, it's always on my body, like everywhere. But occasionally I do get it on my face, like underneath my eyes, by my, um, what do you call these things? Sideburns and my forehead, but mainly on my body. So I'm just going to share some of the products that I've loved and used a lot over the last year or years um, and share with you. So today I'm shooting from my room, which I don't usually do. Can't show you all of it right now. It's a really tiny little room, but this is a picture of me in Mexico. This was my one of my first international trips outside of Jamaica because my family's from there, my dear old granny's there. But aside from there, this was one of my first international trips for one of my girls' birthdays many, many years ago. So I blew it up, framed it, and I got a little picture of young Coco here um, and my bed, my window. And that kind of concludes the tour. You can't see much, but that's all that's here, plus a little bit of furniture. But anyway, without further ado, let me start this video. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoy. And if you have similar skin to mine, hopefully some of these products work for you. If you want to give it a try, or if you have any to recommend, drop them in the comments. I love to try new skincare and body care. I'm like obsessed. So yes, let me get right on into it. And obviously today, since I'm talking about skincare, I came to you bare face. The only makeup I have on, makeup, is a little bit of fancy lip gloss, just so my lip doesn't look too dry on camera. So, um, yeah, just want you to see my skin, see how some of my products have worked. I don't typically have many blemishes, it's just genetics, but sometimes if I don't use some of these things, I get a lot of fine bumps here that end up turning dark. Bumps up here, I used to have a lot of, like, scars from pimples up here and down here but ever since switching to some of these things my face is doing all right so yes let me get right on to this video alrighty sit on down here on my bed so whew, where to start okay so I brought out some of my favorites I put them in these little caddies so it'll be easier for me to show you these are three of them few stray straggling around so yes I'm going to start off with face care so like I said before I used to have a lot of blemishes little fine bumps that turn into pimples and then leave dark scars so I was like I gotta get rid of this so I switched from using some of the I don't even remember what products I used to use but <clears throat> excuse me so I got my little water Okay, so I know a few years ago I switched to using more Kiehl's products, especially like the face moisturizer. And again, because my skin is so dry, I use the really thick creams. Um, since then, maybe in the last two years, I've stopped using it. No particular reason. I just wanted to try other things. One of which being this retinol vitamin enriched. I don't know if you can see it there. Come on, focus. There we go face cream, day face cream with SPF 20, so that was important. I needed to definitely make sure I was getting my daily SPF, and as you can see, it's almost finished. The camera takes a little while to focus. I've been using this for about a year, maybe longer. I got this from TJ Maxx. They, it's from Skincare Cosmetics. That's the brand. I always find these there. I love it. It worked very well for my skin. It also has vitamin A, um, and it worked great. I loved how it had the retinol, but since buying this, I started trying some other serums, which I'll get into next. And I know some of them is not great to mix with retinol. So I switched back to good old Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. This one has SPF as well. So that way when I'm using some of my other like ex um, chemical exfoliants, uh, I'm not using the face cream that has retinol and just mixing like retinol with glycolic acid. I don't want to do that. So as you can see, this is still pretty full because I recently picked this one up. So this is what I'm using now, and this. So these two face creams, definitely bringing it to 2020. I love them, love them, love them. Sometimes when I use other face creams that are for sensitive skin, one, my skin is still dry, still very dry, or two, uh, I get a lot of fine bumps. Not easy to see on camera, but like when you get close to me, you just see like 
fine fine bumps everywhere obviously I don't want that so with these I don't get that so moving on to I guess I could do soaps what I use on my face because that's gonna be a quick one most of the time I'm using I don't know if you if you follow me on Instagram Coco with love one I talk about this brand all the time my friend does a all natural soap she makes it at home her brand is amazing her products are so high quality this is half of it I cut it in half the brand is called territory this one is the baby oats oatmeal bar but now when you go to the website you might actually see it in a cube but same great thing just a little bit more soap and it's on a rope so you can hang it up all natural has oatmeal I use this every single day on my face um, sometimes twice a day, if not this twice a day, then I use this in the morning and then something else at night if I was wearing a lot of makeup, I want to do a deep clean. So one of those other soaps I would use is the Urban Skin RX. Disregard how kind of gross the label looks, but hey, I use it. So This one is the Anti-Aging Cleansing Bar 3-in-1 Treatment. So the way I use this, let me just show you. Focus. I use hello <laughs> those little you know those little um, sponges for your face they when they're dehydrated they shrink up a little small they fit inside here and then when you wet them they plump up back to life I buy packs of those because I don't want to use one for too long because it can hold bacteria and I just wet the sponge roll it around in there a little bit and then use the sponge to wash my face and I like doing that because one I don't have to use my hands and two um, why? Oh yes, yeah, so the sponge acts a little bit like a physical like um, exfoliation, so I do like that sometimes because again, because I'm always dry and ashy, my skin is always peeling at any given time. <laughs> you can just see like skin peeling on my head. Am I in focus? Let me tap to make sure. Okay. Um, skin peeling definitely around my nose. I mean, I've tried so many things. I would like put grease and oil, sometimes slap right there on my nose and it will still peel. So I like to exfoliate with chemical and physical manual exfoliation like with the sponge so that's mainly what I use to wash my face every so often I might switch to some other things like the Kiehl's face um, liquid soaps but for the most part I use these two um, getting on to serums because I've mentioned them here I have some of my favorites let's see I'm gonna start with my number one baby love Rose hip oil. I try to get it as pure as possible. Again, I get them from TJ Maxx. They have different brands. I've tried a bunch of them. The one I've been using for, I don't know, maybe about eight months now is from it's Rose Hip Plus Pure and Natural, uh, Australian certified organic cold press. Let that focus there so you can see the label. I'm sure you can like find this on Amazon as well if it's not in your local TJ Maxx or Marshalls. So what I love about the rose hip oil, it just works for me. So depending on how dry my skin is, sometimes I'll put this on my face first after it's been, see it's like a little dropper. Drop it onto my, I'm going to put some on right now just because I just love it. I drop some onto my face. I try not to let the dropper touch my face. Um, let me just look at my little screen. And of course it accidentally touched my face, but it's mine, so whatever. Um... I put this on my clean skin and then I put the moisturizer on top. Ooh, it feels so good just to moisturize. <laughs> Even though I did this already for the day. Um, it's about 1 p.m. and I need some more. Um, and then I put the thick one of these moisturizers on my face. Sometimes if my face is really dry, I would then, like maybe an hour or so after, put another layer of rosehip oil. Ever since I switched to this oil, my face has been holding in the moisture so much better. It looks better. It looks nice and supple. Less flaking and dryness. It's just so much better. So, yeah, I call this my magic oil because I love it to death because it just works for my dry, my really dry skin. Don't forget to do your knife. Right now, I didn't do a great job because I'm on camera, but yes. What else? Um... This serum is also from TJ Maxx. This is from Advanced Clinicals Instant Hydration Hyaluronic Acid. I don't use it all the time. So as you can, I don't know if you can see from the side, it's still pretty full. Whereas my rosehip oil is literally down to here. It's pretty much almost done. But I buy them in multiples, so I have more. What I like about the hyaluronic acid, again, this is like, um, I'm just going to read what it says, so I'm not even going to like try to guess. 
Instant hydration, invisible wrinkle reduction, pure aloe soothes skin, reduces dryness, replenishes moisture, and plumps fine lines. And honestly, it does. When I use this at nighttime, um, after I wash my face, my face feels moisturized. Because you know how sometimes you wash your face, you feel really, really dry, like you just stripped all the oils. When I put this on, it feels very hydrated. And it does feel a bit plump. So it does what it says. I don't use it often. Maybe like a few times a month. Um, but I like it. Something I've been trying a little bit more lately. I, I did a review of this actually on YouTube. This is Good Jeans by Sunday Riley. Come on. Focus. So this is an all-in-one lactic acid treatment. I love this little thing. It's very expensive for me because I don't usually spend that much on skincare. Hello, TJ Maxx. Um, but it's worth every penny because I started to use this and you can see my review and I instantly saw a difference in my skin so I used it I think it was every day just about every day for two weeks and my skin did clear up it looked brighter even when it was summertime when I tried it I was outside in the hot sun and even though I was getting that sun damage I got a tan multiple it still made my skin look bright and healthy so I do like this product a lot I don't use it all the time but before an event or before my birthday week, before vacation, whenever something's coming up and I want my skin to look extra great, feel extra great underneath my makeup, I use this from starting from a few days before that time, like the event, and then my skin just like gets snatched all the way up from this. So I do love this product, I do recommend it. Two products I started at the end of 2019 and I think we're going to continue bringing them into 2020, 2020. Um, is this, who's this by? Also, Sunday Riley. This is pretty new. I got this in December. It's now January. The CEO. Vitamin C. Come on. Focus. There you go. There's like a million and one reviews on YouTube about this. Um, I've only used it a few times so far since it's only been a month. And so far, I like it. It doesn't irritate my skin. It's a rapid flash brightening serum. It smells good. It feels good. So I can't say that I have great results yet because I haven't really been using it consistently enough to notice. But I might do a review on this one because I actually also bought a vitamin C from the Inkey List. It's supposed to be a brand that has a lot of great serums and products that we love but at an affordable price. So I want to, to this is the vitamin C, I want to try to compare the two so maybe I'll do like this one on this side of my face, this one on this side of my face, and do a review and see like which side of my face looks better, feels better, which formula works more for me. So yeah, that's that on vitamin C. And my friend recently gave me this Kiehl's Cannabis Sativa Seed Oil. Focus, focus, focus. Get a sip of water, because I've been talking a lot. <clears throat> Okay, so again, this product is pretty new. I haven't used it a lot to give like a great review on it, but so far I like it. When a serum doesn't agree with my face, I know automatically the same day, like shortly after I get a lot of fine bumps or I feel itchy. I don't get any of that with this, which I'm glad because I did try the Kiehl's, one of their nighttime serum. I'm sure you've seen it. It's like in a dark bottle, nighttime repair or something like that. My face didn't like it so much. I got a lot of fine bumps and it just felt a little bit irritated. Not a lot, but my face wasn't crazy about it. But I tried this and I like it. And my face actually felt really moisturized and supple after using it. So I'm going to continue using this and let you know how I like it. But this is definitely going to be maybe one of my new faves for 2020. And those are my top serums that I either use or are trying right now. So let me move on to... Since I'm still on my face... Some of my makeup faves, it's going to be a short list. I mainly use MAC because I find those formulas in the lipsticks, the face makeup, the eyeshadows work for me, but I also use, who is it, Morphe. Like I had a palette from years ago and I just upgraded to a very similar but newer Morphe palette that is um, basically nude eyeshadows, like a whole bunch of just different shades of nude. That's what you can normally see me in. I've tried a wide range of the MAC concealers and a lot of them I was just I was just looking so dry. I thought it was just me. And then I want to say sometime last year or the end of the year before, I switched to the MAC Studio Face and Body. And I love it. I love this one. I love this one. I love this one. So I don't typically like using full coverage foundation. It just, I don't know, maybe it's just the way I do makeup. I just don't care for the look on me. It's sliding a little bit 
But when I tried the face and body, it's very light. It leaves my skin very dewy. So remember how I said I had the whole dry skin thing? My face looks really moisturized and like dewy. It just looks like there's moisture on my face when I use this as opposed to some of the other foundations that make me look very dry. Um, it's not full coverage, but I don't have a lot of blemishes that I want to cover anyway. So what I do before is I use concealers. I've tried a bunch. wasn't crazy about a lot of them. I was gifted these two e.l.f. What is it? Uh, 16 hour camo concealers. Two slightly different colors. So one I use more in the winter, one I use more in the summer. Um, let me show you those. They're full coverage. And I surprisingly like them. So if I do have any problem areas that I do want to conceal and I get a lot of like dark lines under my dark bags under my eyes, I'll use this under there first and then use the face and body. And my face is good. And then I use my MAC powder. I usually use the regular MAC powder. I think NC. 45 powder um, and that's it <laughs> so yes the elf 16 hour camo concealer I do like these and these are very affordable they're elf I don't remember how much they are because I didn't buy these two deep chestnut and deep olive is the two colors I use um, but I want to say around six dollars maybe even less because they're elf and they're a great formula and I like them another item I was gifted but I surprisingly love is the Hourglass Arch Brow Volumizing Fiber Gel. Now y'all, I, come on man, focus. 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 Right. Let me try this. Tap the screen. Come on. Come on. Alright. That's as good as I can get. So, I'm not great at doing my eyebrows. But, in the last year, I've gotten a whole lot better. Ask my friends. But I don't do a lot. I don't really like the dramatic eyebrow that's really popular right now on me. Because, one, I don't do it well, so I look crazy. And, two, because I don't use a lot of full coverage makeup, I don't wear makeup that often. It just looks a little bit ridiculous on me. And I have really fine eyebrows, as you can see. This is the most I've probably had my whole life. Um, so... Just going into like a night, a big like you know dramatic eyebrow from normally seeing myself like this, it just feels weird. Looks weird to me. But anyway, I use a thin pencil, usually like a dark brown color. There's a few that I've been trying out. None that I love, love to show you. That's why it's not here. My favorites. But then when I go over it with this, again, it's a little small. I don't know if it's gonna focus. Um, this hourglass brow stuff. Ugh, ugh. Come on. Alright, let me step away. Alright, you see it? You see it? This um, hourglass brow stuff. <laughs> I After I fill in a little bit of the pencil, I use some of this. It makes my eyebrows not look too dramatic, but it gives the illusion of more hairs. Again, with the fiber, because it has, what is it? The brow volum volumizing fiber gel. And just gives me the appearance of more hair when it's not there without looking too dramatic. So I do love this. It's almost done. Like, you saw a little bit of product on the brush. But honestly, I probably have about five more uses before it's done. So I will be rebuying this. This thing, trust me, it's empty. I tried, like, shaking it, going like this. Pretty much empty. This is the matte face and body. So I will be rebuying this. But actually, I went to Ulta recently. They did not have the face and body in store, but I tried in store the water weight SPF 30 foundation. Now, you know I love SPF because, y'all, we should be wearing SPF every day, even in the winter. Got this in my color, NC45. Haven't opened it yet, so I guess this is an unboxing. Um, but what I like about this is that it's very lightweight. Very sheer-ish, but not too sheer where it looks like I'm not wearing makeup. Um, and it feels very much like the face and body, but a little bit more coverage, which is fine because there are some days, especially when I have a little bit of breakout, this is really, really sheer. Very sheer. So, it looked good when they tried it on me in the store. So I'm going to wear it and let you know, but this might be my new fave for 2020 because it's nice and sheer and dewy like the face and body, but slightly more coverage, but definitely not a full coverage. So if you're like me and don't really want full coverage, I recommend trying this. Let me see what it looks like. Oh, that's so interesting. This one is a dropper. You see that? Hmm. I think I'm going to like that because in my previous MAC ones, I'm looking at them now over on my dresser. 
they are all either just like a top you open is like a hole you just have to empty it onto your brush or whatever or a pump or this face and body has like a small little opening um so this is the first foundation I have with the dropper. I think I'm gonna like it. I'm gonna drop it right on my little stipple brush. I don't remember what it's called. Put my makeup on. I like it. And on to body. Now that's gonna be the shortest one because again I have eczema and I'm one of those type of people who, if I don't use my medication, because my diet isn't that great, um, I will have a flare up and it will be a big flare up and all of this, all of this. You can't see what else I'm rubbing, but all of this will be first will be red and bumpy and then within a few days the red will turn purple and then I'll just have the um, patches that look like rashes everywhere so I typically use my two prescriptions for my dermatologist right now I'm using the flucinolone oil I think the brand name is Dermasmooth but I get the generic because the same thing which is cheaper and Elidol no not Elidol I used to use that Eucrisa is an ointment. Those are the two I mainly use. But for the rest of my body, good old 100% shea butter. So I tried all those lotions that everybody loves over the counter. I tried the, who is it? I don't even remember the name. Cetaphil and you know, Eucerin. I do like Eucerin. The ointment was like, it was cool. It was very thick. But after using it over and over again, my skin sometimes didn't like it. It'll make me itchy and I'll still be extremely dry within a few hours. So I switched to using 100%, typically the yellow shea butter, sometimes the white. As you can see, this container is almost done. And that's it. Literally, I use my two eczema prescriptions, this yellow shea butter, and that is it. Because I find simpler is better, so when I just use natural shea butter instead of products with shea butter, my skin actually stays moisturized longer, it looks nice and greasy, how I like. And it's natural, so I'm not putting other toxins or chemicals, I shouldn't say toxins, other chemicals into my body unnecessarily. Just go straight for the natural. Shea butter. Um, and that's it. Those are all my faves from 2019 that I will be still using in 2020. And, yeah, here's, what did, did I leave anything? I'm just looking to the side, no. But I do also put my shea butter into little containers that I get from Primark of different sizes. This tiny one goes in my little pocketbooks. I got a slightly bigger one that goes in my bigger pocketbooks. Take it to work so when my hands get dry from washing it a lot, because I'm in research, I'm at a hospital in Manhattan, so I wash my hands quite a lot. And I wear gloves, so that can also be irritating, so I carry my shea butter. Do my hands because that's another place whenever I wear gloves a lot or wash my hands a lot and I don't take care of my skin I get eczema all up and down these hands so yes those are my phase um, let me know in the comments if you use some of these if you try them do you like them I really want to know your opinion if you hate them let me know too if you know anything that I should try let me know so I could buy some more give me a reason to go shopping um, okay I'm back for one quick second. I forgot to mention something. Another thing that I do for my sensitive skin is I don't wear too much fake jewelry. I should say fake jewelry, but like costume jewelry that's irritating that I used to get from like Forever 21, H&M. I love those things. They're so pretty, but girls and guys, my neck did not like them. My ear holds and I like them, but I do have my own jewelry line for people with sensitive skin. These earrings, these are called the mood earrings in the size large. Let's see if you can see it. Come on, focus. So I focus on jewelry that is mainly gold fill, so that way I know like solid gold obviously is best, but it can be pricey and sometimes you just want jewelry for just fashion-y things. You don't want to invest in like a whole expensive piece just to try an earring style or jewelry style, so I make my jewelry gold fill. Some of them are also brass because I'm not allergic to brass, but I know like 18% of the population is. If you are, obviously you don't use those, but for those of us who are not, I use either brass or... Um, gold filled jewelry um, yeah so that is also a big help for my skin ever since I switched to that my skin is happy because I'm not having like fake metals that irritate my skin rubbing back and forth for hours these I got from like piercing pagoda they're gold um, and that's why they are in my ear because when even when I use stainless steel in these I would get little bumps so yeah I just wanted to add that in okay now is goodbye bye bye um, and that is it 
I hope you like this video. I hope you find something you like. Um, and don't forget to follow me over on Instagram. I share more things that I like over there, more about my travel. I just post more there because it's quick and easy. So again, that's Coco with Love number one. You can please subscribe to my YouTube channel here. Check out some of my previous videos. Let me know in the comments if there's anything you want to see. Like how I said I might do a review for the two types of vitamin C's. Let me know if there's anything else you might want to see. And I can see if I could do a video on that. Drink my water. I'm talking a lot. Yeah, that's all. Give it a thumbs up if you think it's worth it. And I will see you hopefully in my next video. Until then, have an awesome day, a beautiful week, and a fabulous 2020. Bye!